So welcome back everybody to Web Gaming Central and this is now the second video in our tutorial for power under utilities and we are going to work with now the coal power plant okay so all you do is grab it from here place it down but general rule of thumb guys keep it away from your residential in this example I'm actually a little too close to my residential so let's bulldoze that we're gonna bring it down here okay but make sure it's connected by road before you do that there we go okay now let's place it down here okay so to begin now that we have it here it's not gonna start producing power right away although this does say it that's what it's doing uh, not just yet it has to be manned and right now it's closed so let's wait till we get some employees to run it okay and there we go guys our power plant is powered so let's take a look at the modules and just some general things to know about coal power first things first it does produce pollution now currently the air pollution generated is low but that does change over time trust me other things that are of note is the coal burning rate um, you'll get to know this um, with the modules as well but understand that coal requires resources that's probably the biggest thing you need to understand when you're running this generator or this power like a few others as well you need res well one other you need resources and in this particular case coal so you have two options here you can accept local coal deliveries and that generally means if you have if you produce coal in, in this city that's one way to do that also if you produce coal in the region you'll accept the local coal deliveries first Okay, if you choose to accept, accept global coal deliveries, you'll get it from the global market. And that's basically at the current coal price of 4423 So you can click that and you'll keep getting shipments of that. And we're going to have to do that because we, our region is not developed. So there you go. Now, next thing is the modules for this guy. Again, and with most modules, they have a sign that you can place. It does nothing other than provide cosmetic uh, or aesthetics aesthetics um, the next one is the dirty coal generator and as the information provided does state uh, we're producing 75 megawatts and as you can see I have an excess of 74.7 because I'm using 0.3 uh, in my city so uh, the cost is 5,000 and then there's a 425 425 simoleon cost per hour which is added to the base cost of the running the generator in the first place also you have the advanced coal but let's place the dirty coal so you can see what it looks like just like the one you start out with so don't worry about having to place it right up right away unless you have a huge city that you're trying to power advanced coal generator it's just pretty much um, this one let's see it produces less pollution and let's see the burn rate is 8.6 tons per day uh, pollution is medium whereas this the lower one is high so as you can see it does produce or produce less uh, pollution okay but it burns coal at a higher rate so if you are trying to preserve your production of coal or your you know level of coal that's something to take into account and here's why that matters if you don't produce coal in your local city in this city then the cost that you have to uh, or the charge that you have to pay to import coal will weigh heavily on this decision here it costs less on your cities uh, on your city to buy this than it does this because if you, your coal burn rate is higher you're running through your coal faster which means your uh, import deliveries will increase which means your cash outflow will increase as well so let's place that there you go and the last one which you have to unlock through the education and when I say the education that is unlocking first of all having a university in your region and also a university with the school of engineering okay then you have to complete the research for it then you can place this guy but it is clean energy the air pollution is low burn rate is in the middle between these two guys and uh, you're still producing 75 megawatts so it's definitely a better option than this guy over here the only thing that you're going to get better here is the entry cost as well as the uh, cost per hour which is not significantly higher okay so there you guys have it. That's the coal power generator. 
Thanks so much for watching the tutorial, and I hope you guys stay tuned for the next one.